I'm Dawn Lynn Miller, and this is The Book Whisperer, Back to the Books. I thought we'd talk this week about engaging middle school readers. You know, middle school educators and caregivers are often concerned in what they see as a drop-off in adolescents' reading behaviors. They read a lot in elementary school, and then many of them read less in middle school. Some of that has to do with the demands on their time of extracurricular activities like sports and being in band and also home workloads. We also know that adolescents have more freedom to uh, manage their own time and sometimes that nightly reading habit at home slips away or we carve out less time for reading at school. We have to recognize that if we want adolescents to be reading, we have to make it a priority, which means carving out time at school and at home for students to read, and also ensuring that they have engaging books that they're interested in reading. Um, with middle school curriculum, we're often putting kids into places where they're reading poems, articles, books, plays that are written for adults. And I found that Adolescents also want books that reflect their experiences, that reflect the realities of teenage life and the real struggles that they have. So looking for engaging books that middle schoolers want to read, making a priority uh, in both the classroom and at home for adolescents to be reading, and making sure that we're emphasizing that reading is still a priority in the middle school years. I have some great books to share with you this week that I know middle schoolers will find engaging and uh, I look forward to sharing them with you. The first book I'd like to share with you this week is an exciting new publication from award-winning author Kwame Alexander and his collaborator Mary Hess. Solo is about a 17-year-old boy named Blade. His mother died when he was young. His father is a famous rock and roll star who has struggled with addiction. Blade loves music. He finds a lot of solace in music. There's lots of references to classic rock and roll. Uh, he has a girlfriend that he cares deeply about, and he's also in a struggling relationship with his father. Uh, all of these struggles come to a head, and Blade finds himself traveling halfway across the world to Ghana in an attempt to find himself and to find some peace. I think this novel in verse has a lot to offer teenagers. They'll love the musical references, and they can also empathize with Blade's struggles. I'm excited to share two graphic novels with you that I know capture the middle school experience, Awkward and Brave by Svetlana Chmakova. The first book, Awkward, features Penelope. She's new to middle school at Berrywood Middle School, and on her very first moments inside the school, she trips over another student, Jamie. Jamie is a social outcast. He's not popular. He's teased by other kids. And instead of apologizing to him, Penelope runs away and avoids him. And then throughout the course of the school year, they're forced to be together in club settings and around the school. I think many of us have dealt with that awkward experience of being a middle schooler and also how do we apologize when we know we were wrong. The second book in the series, Brave, features another student at Berrywood Middle School, Jensen. He loves science, he's totally obsessed with science, and he recognizes that many other students don't share his zeal for science. He often talks about science at inappropriate times. It makes it difficult for him to find friends, and so Jensen is learning how to embrace who he is and his own passions and look for the friends that will appreciate him. Gordon Corman is an author who has been popular with my middle school students over the years, and I'm excited that he has a new book out, Restart, about a teenager named Chase who falls off a roof and loses his memory. He has complete amnesia. He doesn't remember anything about his past. He barely even remembers his name. And when he returns back to middle school, he starts to learn that the person who he was was not a good person. He's very popular with bullies, people who pick on other kids, while many students in the school fear him, avoid him, or openly dislike him. And Chase has to decide, who does he want to be now? If you're looking for more book recommendations for your middle schoolers, I suggest checking out the author video, which can be found in your toolkit and on your planning kit DVD. And I also recommend WeNeedDiverseBooks.org as a resource for finding a variety of books that are engaging for many kids. Thank you for joining me this week for this episode of Book Whisperer Back to the Books, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Goodbye. Thank you.